good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We're just leaving the Fly and J actually. I've gotten all our logbook and everything up to date now. Got it all filled out and ready to go. Got our address punched in to where we need to be going. All that good stuff. So, uh, now we're ready to roll. So let's get out of here. And let's make our way down to our pickup location. Looks like we got about an hour and a half to drive to our uh, pickup location. And then, uh, We'll see how long that's going to take over there to get loaded and all that good stuff. And then we'll probably have to come back here. Reason being is we're probably going to have to get this load scaled, you know. I am getting very, very close to my pickup. We're actually just coming into the town where I'm supposed to be picking up. Looks like I gotta go on to the other side of the town in order to pick up my load, but hey, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. And I gotta make a left-hand turn, so that's why I'm in the left-hand lane here, so that way uh, I don't miss my exit, right? Or my turn off, you know? Or I don't have to cut no four-wheeler off to try and get to my turn, right? That way I make sure I turn into the left lane in advance. So that way we're prepared, we're ready. Yeah, it looks like a nice little town up here though. Never ever have I been through this town either. Man, this week is like, I've been going through new places like you wouldn't believe in the last couple of weeks. Just amazing. But yeah, even a little river through the town. Yeah, it seems like almost everywhere there is a river, there's people living on the river, right? They just like to live right there by the river, eh? But it says 500 more meters, not this road, the next road there by the light there. I it's think that's where we meters. got to turn. turn. Left on. Um, yeah, we'll have to make a turn right here. And uh, so I'm gonna go find my place and I'll talk with you guys a little bit later. We got our load and everything and so we scaled there and we're a little bit over but uh, all the states that are traveled through have a weight exemption so we're okay in that department and i know it's a little windy outside of here but let's try and stand behind the truck here i'm just here with the tractor right now because we're right here at the uh, ta truck stop here and they got a shop over here my truck needs an oil change done and so i saw oh, it looks like they're kind of slow in here so i figure i'll go ask and see how much it's gonna be and I'm happy with the price that they quoted me so we'll go in here and get an oil change done on the truck and in the meantime I think I'm gonna go inside and grab me a bite to eat so I'm just gonna go inside and give them the key and then they can drive it in themselves or whatever unless they have time right away but there's only one truck in there right now and it sounds like they're almost done with him so so then I'll uh I'll get my truck pulled in here in a little bit and get an oil change done. In the meantime, we're gonna go inside and grab us a bite to eat. Now we are inside and I went and got me a good salad here. In the meantime, they brought me my chicken Alfredo. I didn't think it was gonna be a huge plate like that, but <laughs> my goodness, that is a huge plate, eh? I think so anyways, but yeah. So let's have us a bite to eat and then uh, We'll see how our oil change goes. I have just finished getting my oil change done and all of that. And it is 2.30 in the afternoon. And we have just left the TA truck stop now. And this is exactly what I was suspecting. Because dispatch was already asking me where I wanted to go from, from Iowa, right? And so I sent them a message wherever the load goes. That's where I'll be going. And so he sent me a message if it's okay to go back to uh, to Mississauga, Ontario, and I said, hey, that's fine with me. So uh, he already sent me a load offer now. We're uh, going to be picking up out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and going back to Mississauga. So yeah, we know what we're doing. <laughs> 
least we think we know what we're doing, right? <laughs> yeah. Take Highway 19 South so we're going to be going Street, over here to London. And I don't know. The GPS is telling me to take some kind of weird exit here. It's a little different than it normally does. So not sure exactly why or what's going on. Oh, it looks like it just wants me to take the exit and then come straight back onto 401. That's weird. Never had that before. I guess it must think that that bridge is low or something. That's probably why it's telling me to do that. But hey, 401 is like an interstate. I've been on this road for, I don't know, for many years already. And I've never seen a low bridge up here. So I'm not sure why the GPS is making me do that. But of course, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, we'll make our way down to uh, Iowa. Hopefully we don't get any snow up there. Well, I think it'll be too far south yet. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. See, this is what I mean. All the trucks are going straight, right? And it's telling me to take this exit right here and just go over the ramp there and come back on the other side. Like, that doesn't make no sense. And that's after I just updated it last week, so... Oh well. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, look at all the other trucks are even in the right lane. They're not hitting the bridge. The bridge is 4.3 meters. 4.1 meter is 13.6. So it's even higher than 13.6 there on the edge, so... Oh well. But anyways, it cost me a total of... Uh, 584 Canadian dollars well, that's quite a bit less than US but uh, 584 dollars in some sense for uh, getting my oil change done so uh, but the reason being is I'm using full synthetic oil the Shell Rotella T6 5W40 that's the oil that I'm using I use good quality filters that includes that and a grease job so we got all of that taken care of and here we are back on the road so now we know we are good to go got our oil change done i was a little tiny bit over my limit already and so i figured well i kind of suspected since he sent me that message that he was going to ask me to come back so i said all right well now i got a little bit of time and to deliver this load so I figured out well, let's get the oil change done and and then we'll be good to go right I'm happy that we did that because on a weekend less places are open a lot of other truckers are going in there getting their services done and I got in there within probably 10 minutes of sitting there on the door so that was good but yeah let's get on down the road get to our delivery I just figured I would show you one more clip here a little bit look at this we're not even close to the border yeah well we're close but we are a good distance away from the border yet and look at this a big lineup over here to go across the border yes indeed I don't know what's going on today but I'm literally almost two miles away from the border yet. And we got a long line up like this. Hey guys, I'm over here at the Flying J. We're done for today. Yes, indeed we are. We just had us a very nice supper. And it is kind of windy out here today, but yeah, we're just enjoying a nice evening. And the reason why I'm saying we is because of this dude over here. Hey. <laughs> you guys all know who this is? Trucker I, Jukebox? No, I'm yeah? the runaway bandit. The runaway bandit, eh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm hoping that wind ain't gonna interfere too much with uh, with our audio here today. We had enough of crappy audio there a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. YouTube still hasn't gotten back to me on that. Still working on that. But so what you been up to? Yeah, just staying out here running. Running? Yeah, I am. I don't see you running. <laughs> I am planning on going to uh, Minnesota, northern Minnesota, oh, yeah? Duluth area for Thanksgiving. But other than that, I heard Rudy was here. 
I dang Where is near, he? I dang near tripped over my feet to get here. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. So how was supper? Oh, it was great. Yeah? Yeah. Was, did Rudy, you have any dessert? Rudy bought me supper. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh well. But okay. we had a very nice waitress in there. Yes. And she said uh, she's getting her CDL. Yeah. And yeah. she said she has possibly visited my website. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. She said uh, my name sounded familiar. I don't know. <laughs> but she did say that she's going to start in December. So we want to wish her very much luck. Yes, indeed. We do need women drivers. You know, we didn't there. catch her name, though. No, we didn't. We should have. Yeah. Should have catched her, catched her name. But maybe if you're watching, leave a comment down below. Let us know how we did. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And give us your name. Yeah. Well, that would be kind of nice. But anyways, it was very much worth it paying for parking here tonight. Yeah. When we got in here, trucks are parked way over there. It's full. Oh, it's full, it's man. Full. It's no, no room left over here. But uh, anyways... We're just enjoying our little company out here. You yeah. know, surprisingly, yeah, it's what November, right? Yeah, and we're out here without no coach. Yeah, it's exactly. It's not really bad, and we're up in Michigan. We're not down in the south. Yeah, exactly. We're on the upper Michigan too. Not really. I mean, not really north, north, but we're in the middle. In the middle, yeah. Well, we're yeah. in Lansing. Yeah, exactly. Where that is, I have no idea. It's at the Flying J. <laughs> He came through Flint, yeah. which is a big man from Michigan. Yeah, yeah, he lives just on uh, 75 there. Yeah, and Brack uh, Linda Braxton's yeah. grandma. Yeah, he passed her. Oh really? Here. Yeah, but oh, I we don't no want clue. to tell her that, right? Cause no. She 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 would like to see you, you know. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, she never told me that where she lived or that she wanted to meet up with me. That would be nice. I would love to. Yes, indeed, I would. But yeah, I know that I also have a subscriber up there on I-75. Yeah. 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 Last time when I came through on uh, 75, yeah. I missed him, and the reason why I missed him was he left a comment on my uh, website, underneath one of my posts. And for some odd reason, when somebody leaves me a comment there through the Facebook commenting yeah. system there, it doesn't notify me. Right. And I hadn't checked it. I hadn't checked the comments, and I didn't see it on time and so i missed him i had already gone by it yeah. so if you guys see my map on my website and you really want to meet up with me the best way to do it is go into my contact page and write me a private message through the contact page system there or i do now also have the email system on there no the email only works on on the mobile device if you hit because i have that encrypted so they can't see my email address right unless you go on the mobile device then you can see okay. my email address and the reason why i do it that way is because uh there is programs designed to read emails addresses and if you have your email address on your website publicly they will read that and then they'll send you spam mail right and so that's why i try not to have it on there but it is clickable when you go on on the contact page there yeah. you'll see it's highlighted in blue on the email part there you just click on it will open up my open up your email browser and you can email me but that would really be either either through the email or on the private messaging system there that actually does email me and notify me that i have a message there uh, that's one of the best ways to do it or through Facebook Messenger. That works great, too. That seemed to work real, real good for yeah. me, too. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I know that sucks, you know. Like, I already designed it that, you know, I was supposed to be, you know, want, want you guys to easier be able to see where we're at and where we're going so you have a chance to meet up with me. And, and then sometimes I screw up. <laughs> <laughs> but, dang, that's so... You're done? You don't have no reload yet? Nope, nope, nope. That means I can pretty much wake up without the alarm, have my coffee, and Rudy will probably be gone. Yeah, I could probably blast my horn when I leave. <laughs> That's okay though. That'd be like the rooster's crowing, right? <laughs> no, I won't be rude like that, no way. Jukebox, you want to say anything before we go? Be good. Be good? And, 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 and happy holidays. Yes. No, 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 we're not going to do it that way. 
Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. We're not going to be like the liberals. Yeah. 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 We're going to say it like it is. That's right. That's the way it was designed. That's right. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be out of here. We'll see you in a few.